Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this, you've just installed Ubuntu 24.04, or you're about to, and you're probably wondering what comes next. Well, today I've got you covered. In this video, we're going to go through some essential things you should do right after installing Ubuntu 24.04 to make sure you get the most out of your new setup. Let's dive in. The very first thing you want to do is make sure your system is up to date. Ubuntu 24.04 should have a lot of updates right out of the box, but it's always good practice to check. Here's how you do it. Open a terminal and type the following commands. If you are not a fan of the command line, you can also use the GUI to check for updates. Also press on settings and go to the update tab. Here you can change some settings according to your preference. Example update checking can be done daily, every two days or weekly. So change the settings according to your preference or just leave the defaults. Canonical's Ubuntu often recommends using Snap packages, but it's worth noting that Flathub offers another great option for getting your software. To access Flatpak packages from Flathub, you'll first need to install Flatpak on your Ubuntu system. The choice between Flatpak and Snap depends on your priorities, performance, ecosystem, security, or compatibility. For most users, Flatpak is the better choice due to its speed, flexibility, and broader Linux compatibility. However, Snap may still be necessary for some Ubuntu-specific software. Flatpak uses a centralized repository called Flathub, where you can find and download a wide range of Flatpak applications. To access these apps, you'll need to add the Flathub repository to your system. You need to restart your system after installing Flatpak. You can either visit the Flathub website or use the following command if you know the application's name. Like here I'm trying to check if VLC is in the repository and install it using Flatpak. Take note of the application ID. You will use this to install the application. You can use this command and the ID to install an application. I will not install VLC for now, so I will say no. If you want to check Flatpak applications installed on your system, you can use this command. I have not installed any yet myself. Eventually, you'll encounter an exciting new application that's only available in the app image format. However, before you can run an app image file, you'll need to install the Fuse library using the following command. This command installs the Fuse library, which is necessary to run app image files, among other things. To play media files such as MP3, you may need to install media codecs if they were not included during the initial setup. Ubuntu doesn't install these codecs by default due to copyright restrictions in certain countries. This command installs a package in Debian-based Linux systems that includes essential software with legal or copyright restrictions that cannot be included in Ubuntu by default due to licensing issues.
If you recently switched to Ubuntu from Windows, where clicking on an app in the taskbar minimizes it, Ubuntu's default behavior might feel frustrating. Fortunately, you can enable the Minimize on Click feature in the Ubuntu dock to make it work similarly. Just run this command. You can also change the dock settings in Ubuntu 24.04. To move the dock around and change its size and so on, simply go to Settings. You can change the icon size and you will see the panel shrink. You can also change the panel's position. You can also customize your desktop environment with GNOME tweaks. Now let's dive into deeper customization with GNOME tweaks. This tool gives you more control over your desktop environment, from fonts to UI elements. It's perfect if you want to fine-tune Ubuntu to your liking. Once it's installed, you can open it from your application menu by searching for tweaks. Here you'll find a ton of options to customize your desktop, like changing the behavior of the window title bars, adjusting the text scaling, enabling dark mode, or even tweaking the startup applications. By adding GNOME tweaks, you'll be able to make your Ubuntu 24.04 desktop truly unique and optimized for your preferences. Just play around with the settings. Enable Fractional Scaling on Ubuntu. Fractional Scaling is a feature that allows you to adjust the size of UI elements, like text, icons, and buttons, on your display by non-integer values, such as 125%, 150%, or 175%, rather than just the standard 100%, 200%, etc. This is particularly useful on high-resolution displays like 4K screens, where UI elements may appear too small at 100% scaling. With fractional scaling, you can make the interface more readable and comfortable to use without losing the extra screen real estate that high-resolution displays offer. It helps to find a balance between clarity and screen space, especially on displays with very high pixel density. Next up, let's talk about security. It's always a good idea to have your firewall enabled. Ubuntu has built-in firewall, UFW. You can check if the firewall is enabled using this command. You can also install a graphical user interface, GUI, for UFW, Uncomplicated Firewall, on Ubuntu. It provides an easy-to-use way to manage your firewall settings, offering a simple and intuitive interface for configuring firewall rules, blocking or allowing connections, and ensuring system security. UFW is a command-line tool that allows users to configure firewall settings in Linux, and GoofW just makes it more accessible for users who prefer a graphical interface. After installation, you can launch GUFW, either from the application menu or by typing in the terminal. Now you can easily configure and manage your firewall using the graphical interface. Don't like the default interface for Ubuntu? You can simply change it. 
You have many different possibilities like KDE, Mate, XFCE, and so on. Installing a desktop environment is easy. To install Cinnamon, for example, just run this command. To install KDE, you can run this command. You can look up on how to install the various desktop environments. Just install the one you would use on daily basis. You can also use Nala instead of APT. Nala is a modern, user-friendly front-end for APT, Ubuntu's package manager, that improves speed, readability, and functionality. Nala uses parallel downloads, which can speed up package installation and update significantly, especially on slower internet connections or when dealing with large packages. This can result in a noticeable improvement in performance when managing software. By default, Nala filters the top 16 mirrors and you can add the top 6 to your sources list. Let us try installing VLC using Nala and see how it works. Prefer Chrome or Brave? Download them from their official sites and install them. Also install Stacer. Stacer is an open source system monitoring and optimization tool designed for Ubuntu and other Linux distributions. It provides a user-friendly GUI to manage system resources, clean junk files, monitor processes, and optimize performance. Stacer is a great tool for Ubuntu users who want an easy way to monitor and optimize their system without using terminal commands. It's lightweight, open source, and regularly updated. Enable automatic snapshots. Mistakes happen. Protect your system with TimeShift, a backup tool. Install it and schedule regular snapshots. TimeShift is a system backup and restore tool for Linux, including Ubuntu, that works similarly to Windows System Restore or Mac OS Time Machine. It takes snapshots of your system at regular intervals, allowing you to revert your system to a previous state if something goes wrong, e.g., after a failed update, broken package, or accidental system changes.
Ubuntu 24.04 now comes with enhanced performance. But let's squeeze every drop out of your system. First, you can adjust power settings for laptops to get better battery life. You can also install tools like TLP for advanced power management. TLP, Think Laptop Power, is a background service that applies power-saving tweaks without user interaction. It's especially useful for laptops. It is highly recommended for laptop users running Ubuntu. It significantly improves battery life without manual intervention. Just run this command. And that's it! Those are the top things to do after installing Ubuntu 24.04. If you follow these steps, you'll have a smooth, customized, and secure experience with Ubuntu right from the start. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.